Next month's Assembly election will see a huge turnover in faces on the MLA's benches. Some are calling it the changing of the guard. But is it a case of the more things change, the more they stay the same? Our political correspondent Gareth Gordon has been speaking to first-time voters who are also politics students, as well as a few old hands from bygone Assembly days. These are the children of the Belfast Agreement, sixth form politics students from Belfast Royal Academy and Dominican College. They were born in 1998, around the same time as the deal. The Assembly election will be their first chance to pass judgment on our politicians. People mightn't watch or be interested in debates in Stormont because it seems just like a bunch of old white conservative men shouting at each other, when really there's a lot that's going on underneath that that young people just need to find out what is going on and be more engaged in that. They seem to kind of manufacture crises for themselves, like every other week it seems we're hearing about a crisis was I don't think the public really understands why they're making such a big deal out of some of these issues. I would like it to, again, be more representative of the people of the North. Um, I would like more young people, more women, more ethnic minorities, um, rather than just the same faces that you've seen for the past 20, 30 years. We have made great progress from the troubles and from the very difficult background that we've come from. The very uh, nature of the executive, I think, is remarkable that you have completely opposing parties. Even at times, if they don't get on well, uh, it's still remarkable in itself. But 18 years on, is that enough? The next assembly will obviously look very different, but will the change merely be cosmetic? We asked two members of the class of 98 what they think. Seamus Close and Dermot Nesbitt are veterans of the first assembly elected after the agreement. But Seamus Close says new politicians will not necessarily mean better politics. The politicians that will be elected in 2016, the vast majority of them will have less baggage than those that were elected in 1998. But I think it also has got to be remembered that the ones who did the deals were the ones that had come through the hard graft through the 70s, the 80s and the 90s and were able to, to a large degree, bury the past and continue to work and try to th bring things together for the people of Northern Ireland, for the good of Northern Ireland. But Dermot Nesbitt says it's time to stop looking back. 18 years after the Second World War, it was Beatlemania. I was a teenager and to me the war didn't exist and we'd moved on from warfare in 1963. Indeed, the Beatles played in Hamburg quite often, a town blitzed, firebombed by the British people on Bomber Command, and yet we'd moved on. So I can understand if they say, here we are, 18 years after the Belfast Agreement, and we're still arguing at times over the same old, same old. It is time the politicians of all parties moved on. Next month, the children of the Belfast Agreement and everyone else will start to find out if that can really happen. Gareth Gordon, BBC Newsline.